Hey guys, welcome to Nene's Prepared Kitchen. I'm glad that you stopped by today. Uh, sorry that I haven't had that many videos posted. Um, I was dealing with a stomach bug and cooking and making cooking videos. It wasn't the time, but today is the day and um, I have something very special because uh, Chris over at City Girl Homestead they invited me to be on her uh, collaboration and the collaboration is called Through the Years. It is a um, making air dishes and um, I thought it would be fun. Uh, so I picked out the 60s era uh, being that I'm a 60s child. Um, I figured that would be fun, you know, to do a 60s era and come to find out uh, one of my favorites that I grew up on uh, quite a bit uh, was porcupine meatballs. And I kind of understand why now because um, all it takes a few of those uh, shelf staple items that you have on hand already and some ground beef and yeah, throw it together in no time you have a delicious uh, meal and no it don't have no porcupine meat in it but um, having the rice in it you know I guess it got its name from the rice sticking out of the meatballs so anyway hey enough for that um, Let's get started making some 60 era porcupine meatballs. Get the camera aimed down here for you so you can see what we have going on. Okay, we're going to start out with um, the recipe I'm going by calls uh, for one pound of ground beef. I'm going to be doubling the recipe and using two pounds of ground, ground beef. Actually, I have these patties, uh, two pounds of patties that I'm going to be using. Uh, you know, break them up in my bowl here. Not a big deal, you know. So, actually, uh, when I bought those, it was cheaper buying the two pounds reduced like that. <laughs> than it was to buy two pounds of burger. So we have the uh, ground beef in there and now into the ground beef we're just going to be adding in uh, a cup of rice into the two pounds of burger. If you were doing you know the regular recipe you'd be having only a half a cup. Like I say I'm doubling it up so I'm using one cup of a uh, whole grain white or the white rice <laughs> and into that I'm adding in a half a cup of uh, minced onion. You can cut up your own onion if you want to but I have plenty of this on hand so I'm using the already minced up dry which works fine. And then we're just going to add in like a uh, uh, eighth teaspoon of black pepper. That's not very much. A quarter teaspoon. <laughs> See if I can do this. We'll call that good. And then some salt. We're going to put in uh, about a teaspoon of salt into that. We'll call that good right there too. And then um, just a little bit, if you have some fresh parsley, I don't, so I'm going to be using some parsley flakes that I have here. And we're just going to put like two tablespoons, well this is going to be double, so like four tablespoons of the mint or the parsley. <laughs> there we go. That looks about right to me. What do y'all think? Okay, now we have to... Um, Put in two eggs into that. We're going to beat up a couple eggs so we can put the eggs right into 
that right there, but I'm going to mix that up. So let me grab me a little fork real quick. And I'll just beat those eggs up with a fork in my bowl. Yeah, nothing fancy. Just so they're kind of mixed together. Okay, now the time is when I'm getting my hands into it. And I have a paper towel ready to wipe them off with. <laughs> so, if you want to wear rubber gloves, you can, but I put my hands right into it and just mix it all together. I'm going to get the rice and the hamburger mixed together. And then I'll be adding those eggs in too. So, get the eggs in there like that. And I should have my oven preheating at 350. <laughs> Which I don't. I need to do that part yet. So. <laughs> okay. So we just have that all meat mixed up like that. Okay. Voila, that's mixed up. I'm going to grab my paper towel here and wipe my hands off. Get the burger off there. Because I forgot to grab my spray up there. So now I need to rinse my hands off real quickly. So this is soap and water. I have another clean paper towel. And I'm gonna grab my spray that I forgot to grab. Because <laughs> I need to spray my baking dish here. Like that. With whatever spray that you want to use. And we're just going to form some meat to balls <laughs> and uh, until you get them, you know, all good in your dish right there. Let me know how many of you in the comments have made uh, porcupine meatballs before or even had them. They are one of my favorites for sure. So. I'll get those all made into meatballs. I won't make you sit and wait while I roll little meatballs. So I shall be right back and we'll get them in the oven, which reminds me I need to set the oven. See you in just a few. Okay, I got all the meatballs in the baking dish here that I'm going to be baking them in. Next step is really easy as well. Just take a can of whatever kind of tomato soup you want to use and um, put it in a bowl <laughs> and add equal parts of water. Voila. Now I, I brought out a second can um, that I'm going to be using because I doubled up the recipe. So I thought, you know, I probably should use two cans of soup as well. So, put in the second cans, not even the same brand. And equal parts of water, one can of water. Now how easy is this recipe, guys? really easy and very you know I mean it doesn't cost much either if your hamburger and you know some rice season it up you know it's some onion and now you're gonna cover it with that tomato soup just like that And you're going to cover it. Okay. Let me fly up. Let me fly up. 
like this is the last of this bowl. Right, I have another one. Okay, that is going to go in the oven, 350 degrees, for 30 minutes. Okay, after the 30 minutes is up, you're going to take this aluminum foil off and cook it another 30 minutes. So, um, anyway, I'll be back when it is done, and we'll see how these porcupine 60 era meatballs, porcupine meatballs, turn out. Pretty good, I bet. Oh, and you know, for a side dish, if you want, you can, like, I'm going to throw in some baked potatoes with it. That's a great side, you know. You can have some mashed potatoes with it, or whatever you want, you know. Nice sauce salad, maybe. But um, these are nice, hearty, and pretty reasonable put-together uh, dish, so. I'll be back when they are done. Stay tuned, hit that like, and subscribe. Okay, guys, the porcupine meatballs are done, and I did put some uh, baked potatoes in, and I have a side of green beans over here on the stove as well. There, you can see it all now. So, that right there is one easy dinner done, you know, mostly from... Uh, pantry stuff, you know, add some rice into that burger, and it makes a full meal for you. So, uh, there is my video for you. My video of Through the Years 1960 era. Um, I know I lived off of this stuff right here during the 60s and 70s, and uh, it's always been one of my favorites for sure so uh, anyway thank you Chris at uh, City Girl Homestead and uh, hey I know a lot of you a few of you have come over from uh, my main channel and thank you so much and now I gotta bring this channel back you know up so uh, go ahead and subscribe if you want to and if you like some cooking videos, you know, and I, I like to do quick and easy meals, pantry meals, um, easy budget meals, you know, that sort of thing. So uh, let me get this plated and uh, I'll show you what it looks like. So I, I, I have one in the background there waiting <laughs> for a plate as well because this is dinner. So dinner is going to be served. So we're going to put a baked potato on there. Right down there. Let's get down to the plate here. A baked potato. And let's see if those green beans are hot yet. They could do a little bit more warming up. That butter in there isn't quite melted all the way. Let me speed that up. Get some high and hi there. These meatballs over here. Do you see why they call them porcupine meatballs, saw? Because the rice. <laughs> yeah, I really. I like to uh, take some of that extra juice down there, too. And put on it as well. Let's get some of these green beans on there. Looks good enough for me. I'll let them heat up a little bit longer. So some canned green beans here. If you get that, would go good with it. You can have any kind of veggie you want, though, <laughs> with yours. <laughs> Dinner is served. Served. Nineteen sixty era. Uh, porcupine meatballs. Yeah, that's some good eating there, guys. So, anyway, <laughs> time to eat. And it smells delicious. So, guys, till next time, see you in the next video. God bless.